Morning, hop on a plane today and you can fly from Dallas to London in nine hours. But what if you could fly there in four? Soon you might be able to, again, John Giggy explains in your Giggy Bites. It's very fun to fly, absolutely. As a PhD student in aerospace engineering at UT Arlington, Cody Harris's future is up in the air. Some I'm always interested in. Anything that flies is his obsession, which is why a few weeks ago he watched as NASA dropped to the curtain on a revolutionary mission. A mission that began more than 50 years ago. The Concorde was a plane that could fly supersonic, faster than the speed of sound, but it also made a lot of sound. The sonic boom is like an explosion. You know, you really are, are shocked and scared by a, a, a full, loud sonic boom. Which is why, says NASA's Laura Ozerowski, there's been a speed limit on commercial flights over land since the 70s. Of course, the best way to solve that problem is to fly faster than the speed of sound without making a sonic boom. But there's never been a plane that could do it. Until now. The X-59, NASA's latest experimental plane, sounds like a car door closing in the distance. NASA partnered with Lockheed to build it. It's just incredible to see the ingenuity. The plane will perform five flight tests starting later this year. Jim Less is one of the pilots. This would revolutionize air travel because now there's the potential to get where you're going twice as fast. During flight testing, Lori and her team will gather data from people on the ground. We'll ask them. Did you hear anything? How annoyed were you? NASA will release its findings to regulators, hoping to get rid of speed limits and instead institute a noise limit. If successful, it'll likely be at least a decade before you and I can hop on a supersonic flight. Much closer than a... Which, for those who have spent decades engineering a solution, is well worth the wait. It's a physical proof that we are making progress. With no sign of slowing down. They're putting it together. In Arlington. I'm Sean Giggy. Now, when DFW Airport was built in 1973, planners hoped it would be a hub for supersonic flight. Now, more than 50 years later, that might finally happen. Hmm. Yeah, the last time we saw the Concorde fly was back in 2003. It's been a while, yeah. Long time, now, a lot of that, reasons. That plane is not going to ferry a whole bunch of people uh, you know, over to London, right. but uh, you know, maybe it'll pr introduce a technology that would allow them to add them to larger jets down the road. So would we'll you see. be game, too? Let us know.